Yeah. But we're grateful. We want to say thank you to God because He's the reason we're standing. <laughs> he's the reason you're waking up this morning. He's the reason you even have work to go to. Yeah, true. true. Yeah. And um, I started the show by saying that we give glory to God each morning. Yeah. Uh, it doesn't matter the God that you worship, because I know that many of us, some are Muslims, uh, traditional worshippers, etc., Hindus and all that. But we worship a God, so that's the most critical of all the things that we yeah, have to. We, we have, have to awesome do God. a couple of uh, the stories. We have we the daily graphic. Yeah. On the front page, it's a story that's that has good. occupied the news from the last uh, point of the news day yesterday. It's true. It's becoming, this is one of the things that it's a drama, if you are right? a good mu movie producer, you should, be able to, you should be able to get like five. Starring, uh, starring Lil Wayne. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you should be able to get part one to five. Even that one, cry, you can stretch it. Yeah. Uh, so this is this, you know, Hennie Boxite lease revoked. Mm -hmm. Exton Cubic has mm -hmm. no license to operate. And this mm -hmm. is crucial because it's coming from the Minister of uh, Lands, Natural Resources. Uh, details of that story captured in the Daily Graphic newspaper. Uh, but the Ministry of Lands and Natural Resources revoking the lease uh, uh, in a dramatic twist, and I'm just fast forwarding uh, of events, the sector minister, Mr. John Pitame, who explained yesterday that the company failed to meet the legal requirements and therefore its lease was not valid. Quote, the failure to obtain environmental and operational permits, as well as the various statutory infractions leading to the purported grants of the three mining leases to the company renders the purported leases invalid and of no effect. In the circumstance and in accordance with Section 87 of Act 703, the three mining leases are hereby revoked, Ms. Amenu said at a press conference in Accra. So the decision to revoke the license runs contrary to the minister's position last month that the company had acquired the necessary permits to mine bauxite in the Tunnel of Finn Forest Reserve on August 20. And this is really important. Uh, vehicles belonging to the company's subcontractor, engineers and planners were impounded in Yenahine on the orders of the Ashanti Regional Minister, Mr. Simon Osei-Mensah, who said he had no knowledge of the mining lease granted the company. Some angry residents of Yenahine, you remember, also prevented EMP affiliated to Extend Cubic from depositing mining equipment on the Nenehin bauxite concession in the forest reserve. Uh, so if you continue to uh, read, the graphic will tell you about the requirements that it apparently has not met, all the background to this story. Very detailed indeed by Seth J. Bokbe in Accra uh, on this story. This is a twist, amazing twist. But also on the front page of the Daily Graphic, no qualified candidate will be left without school. We're talking free SHS and Cocoa Bot to promote cocoa products in China. So uh, a bit of explanation to no qualified candidate will be left uh, without school. The Ministry of Education has given an assurance that it will do everything possible to ensure that no basic education certificate examination candidate who has been placed in a senior high school or given the opportunity to select a school will be left behind under the computerized school selection and placement system. Uh, it admitted that there were challenges facing qualified BEC candidates who had not yet been placed in senior high schools and technical and vocational institutes under the computerized schools selection and placement system. And this is a conversation that we've been planning to have uh, because usually around this time uh, when the placements have been made, a lot of people still have questions and some challenges and difficulties. So we're planning on uh, a one-on-one -on -one so you can get the opportunity to phone in and ask all your questions. Uh, so the government has intensified, Roland, this is exciting news particularly to you, the government has intensified its efforts to at exploring the possibility of making China a major consumer of cocoa products from Ghana. Yeah. So in the first quarter of 2017, trade volumes Chinese, between make, Ghana and China reached in nearly 1.4 billion US dollars. 
So are we now going to teach them how to make chocolates or what? Well, we're going to entice them. They, they make some very good chocolates. Mm. They don't produce cocoa. They, they make very good chocolate. Yep. I'm not sure I've tasted chocolate from China. Mm, you should. I know about the Danish mm. chocolate. And the Swiss chocolate. Yeah, which, which is very popular. The and the Ghana chocolates. chocolates. I'm not <laughs> sure about China chocolates. But yeah, they cap they're capable of doing anything, so... <laughs> Uh, okay, uh, back page of the Daily Graphic real quick, and then Roland is looking at the... The Ghanaian Times. Yeah, I'm looking the at the Ghanaian Times. Times. On okay. the front page... Wait, hang on. Back page of the Daily ah. Graphic. Compel government contractors to use legal lumber. Uh, that's Forestry Commission officials saying the details of that story on back page of the Daily Graphic newspaper. Now you can do the Times. So we do the Ghanaian Times. On the front page of the Ghanaian Times, we have extant cubic mining lease revoked. The story is on page 17 of the paper. Mamavi Usobwaji uh, gave you uh, some initial vivid contents of, of what the story is about. Controversy over boxed my mining in Yinehini area. And the Ministry of Health staff sues blood director for accusing him of being HIV positive. This is interesting. I would want to read it. And the story is on page 3 of the paper. It says the staff of the Ministry of Health, Edward Ghani, has sued Mrs. Justina Ansa the director of National Blood Service and Accra High Court at an Accra High Court over allegations that he tested HIV positive. He denies the allegation and is demanding a 200,000 Ghana CD compensation. Chai. It's in order. So where did this uh, from Ministry the Blood of Service Health boss? Staff? <laughs> no, yeah. okay. Well, where did this person spread the news of this alleged? HIV, whatever. Yeah, so uh, we just read it. And it says, in a formal letter of apology with copies posted on the notice board of the service, the mm. plaintiff who used to be the official driver of the defendant, Justin, and now with the disease surveillance department, said the wrongful imputation has made him a subject of public ridicule and contempt as he continues to st suffer stigmatization from relatives and friends. Uh, in, in his affidavit, Mr. Ghani said he has donated blood to... The service for more than 24 times. He said mm -hmm. that after his last donation on July 25, 2014, Mrs. Ansa invited him on December 29, 2014, and told him that he was HIV positive. Mm. The plaintiff averred that he denied the allegation, and the defendant challenged him to take another test at the reference laboratory mm -hmm. at the Kolebutichin Hospital, which was obliged. Mr. Ghani said a week later, the defendant told him that she received a call from the reference laboratory and that she doubt the authenticity of the result. Thereafter, oh. the plaintiff said the defendant stopped him from carrying out his duty as an official driver. The following, oh. following from, that, the, um, from that, the defendant again asked him to undergo another HIV test at the central laboratory, but the result showed the plaintiff was HIV negative. Uh, is this an ongoing court case? Yes, yeah, it's an ongoing court. And so the plaintiff said, I became traumatized and scornfully looked upon by my working colleagues you who avoided me like a plague infested person. Uh, according to him, four months after the receipt of the report from the laboratory, he further undertook HIV tests at the fevers unit of the Kolibu Teaching Hospital, which result, which result also proved negative. The plaintiff said that as a result of the stigmatization and scorn he suffered, he requested a transfer. So this is what happened. So how much is this you in for? 200,000. I think it's too small. Me, me, I one million. Mm -hmm. This is what happened. So he, he drives the lady who is the head of the blood bank. Um, he donated blood. After that, uh, she came to tell him, look, it looks like tests reveal that you are inf infected. So go and do this. So he goes to do it. But the, but the lady, I think, according to the story, doesn't believe that what the she had known, that, that what she had known to be positive, will now turn negative, and continuously he had done a subsequent test which proved negative. But the bit about but, preventing but, him from working. But but you know because he drives her, logically the staff around the blood service will know where ah, mama mama Justina, now for funny driver no or HIV. So that is where I, I believe that Sigma. And Kolebu is a small community. It's like a town. In but you see, I think, okay, well, this is an ongoing court case. We'll see how it ends. But what is worrying is these are Ministry of Health, if you like, medical uh, workers. 
this is the number one place where you don't expect any kind of stigmatization mm, because the mm. people are deeply knowledgeable mm. in these matters in yes. HIV. And you would know that if somebody has HIV, mm. it doesn't mean that they can't mm. deliver or they can't do mm. their work. Mm. So I'm just a bit surprised about the complaints of stigma and even the treatments per what is being narrated in the newspaper of how the blood a bank director has treated this driver. I think it's unfortunate, really, but we'll see how... It is unfortunate. Uh, ...the conclusions that the court will mm -hmm. arrive at. Uh, I just think that the amounts that he's suing for should be small, up. Right? It's small, right? Mm, it's small. This one, you should get, like, I don't know. Charlie, name <laughs> the lawyers, those who can... Confidential you... should handle this case. No, Samson Ladia, you know. <laughs> Yeah, no like it's that. true. <laughs> Go see you. Get some handsome reward. Be like that. And the that. gentleman who has been <laughs> bad, so, so would have done. Oh, but listen, we, we, did, we didn't catch the lawyer. Maybe there's an equally very good lawyer. Yeah, maybe the lawyer doesn't case. want to be mentioned. Maybe I mean, the, not all the lawyers yeah, want yeah. to get the mm. publicity that others want. Yeah. All qualified uh, senior high school students won't be denied. Uh, opportunity and uh, Queen Margaret the second to pay state visit to Ghana which of uh, which, she, which of the Queen queens? Margaret the second okay. she's a queen of Denmark apparently mm. I didn't know that <laughs> good education for me let's do the find the newspaper we announced the queens one? in our country who who mm. come from hinterlands to the city to come visit the president we announce their visit like as in in Ghana yeah as in like maybe the queen of like uh, the queen of, of Kumewu or the queen of uh, Logbatuta or something or the queen of uh, Elubu no, coming they, to visit president they in don't I mean, make I mean they, they don't make newspaper when they have headlines front page, wouldn't have been bad and they don't one. make newspaper headlines unfortunately <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah we'll but we're not again. even very familiar with our queens Roland because it's a shame. They are they prominent? Mm, That's the prominent. thing. Let's do the final newspaper. Let me read this to you. Okay. The yeah. Queen of Denmark. <laughs> <laughs> I beg. Uh, let's do the final newspaper. Front page of the final. The same story in the graphic. Uh, making its way here. Government revokes Exxon Cubic mining leases. Public officials who committed infractions and the probe. MIA to, re to be relaunched on September 15. A paperless port transaction faces teething challenges. That's expected, right? All qualified candidates will be placed, according to the minister. All qualified candidates will be placed. Except that you may not have necessarily your choice of school, because if the yeah. school is full, then you have to look for an alternative. Mm. as well yeah uh, there are other stories inside the final newspaper but i'll leave the inside pages to you that's it for what's making front page headline we have the front page of the daily guide next it has there government sacks ibrahim it has a picture there of ibrahim <laughs> mahama um of uh, emp engineers and planners <laughs> see that's the drama Minahim we've been Forest. talking about bauxite deal cancel the last Cash time I, I checked it was exton cubic Hmm. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> cash for transfer hits customs, and then no panic for free SHS. Uh, that's according to Minister. And Ghana will shine in 2018. Uh, and there's a prophet, Kofi Nyame, who is prophesying about 2018 in September 2017. So we just killed man over mobile phone at Kaswa. Uh, those are the stories we have on the front page. I always like looking at the center spread. Ah, this is good. Funny face fights dirty. Ex-wife says he's a two-minute man. I read somewhere yeah. that she hasn't spoken. I read somewhere well, that I she had know. not said this. <laughs> <laughs> Achimo, and and she, he's, he came and said something on his page too. Achimota sparks debate with gay marriage. <laughs> this one too. That's why I love the... Babu Yada. Babu Yada. <laughs> So what? Kaipo. They're trying to establish that truly this person completed Ashimoto school. Is that it? Because no, he was some... the head prefect in 1991. Ah, uh, you don't know him. I thought that he looks was... like a handsome dude. Or he's handsome. I man. thought that was... and he dances well too. Ah, well, <laughs> you like him? No, not that I like him. But he ah. was the one dancing like the lady with the. I say you. I say my back. Sorry, I crave your indulgence. <laughs> okay, uh, so <laughs> that's it for the daily guy. Actually, no, no, no. No, Mr. but I'm Mr. saying that funny, I read Did somewhere you? that uh, funny faces ex-wife mm. 
has denied saying anything, um, saying what is being no, attributed no, to no, her. No. Uh, she gave an interview. I but think what the story is saying that she wasn't, she didn't emphatically say that she, uh, he, uh, he is a, he is a, a two, two minutes man, man. But he gave an interview on OKFM. OK and said exactly but what? But she gave an interview. And eh? said exactly what? Um, look, I didn't listen it, to the Look record. at it closely. Maybe there's a quote. I'm interested in But Funny in Face knowing. is my good friend, so I don't want to be... Okay, you know, give me that paper. Let's, let's change. Do Al-Hajj. Because... <laughs> well, just do Al-Hajj. I want Funny to Face see. is my good friend, so I don't I want, want to I want to see be. the quotes. Yeah, Rastafari, I come down save the people of the Abdon Jazzy. We love you. Okay. Hmm. Okay, Funny this face. is it. <laughs> Or last time, this is it. Or last time, is Geisha, right? She revealed that, unknown to many Ghanaians, <laughs> Funny Face is very weak in bed and can't go beyond two minutes. Uh, yeah, yeah, Fadi and Brett. Quotes. Huh? I was looking for the quotes. I am beautiful and naturally endowed, you? but unfortunately, Nana Ya Odro uh, who is Funny Face, could not satisfy me sexually. My ex husband is suffering from early ejaculation. And I had cautioned on several it's okay. occasions. So can we do the Ahad newspaper? But he wouldn't listen to me on court. This is Madam Elizabeth Ajoin seemed further revealed that Funny Face was not a responsible husband. Funny Face uh, tied. Okay, so where was she speaking? Please, this part of the comment, parental guide. We need parental guide. PG, PG 18. Um, I almost committed suicide, but the gun wouldn't shoot when I pulled the trigger. What I've been through is worse than killing. Who is that? I've moved on. The woman. But I'm hurt because of the lies people are peddling about me. That's funny face, telling you TV. Oh, and then in a rebuttal, Madam Elizabeth told FN News that her ex-husband could not last more than two minutes in bed. Okay. So you're interested in the story after all? Uh, sex sales. <laughs> It will let the ratings go up. It sells to you. <laughs> no, it's, uh, that's, that's the norm around the world. Okay, so this is another... You know, Beyonce is beautiful. Though, <laughs> but when she does the thing like that, you know, <laughs> even though I worry you. No, this is another... This is another And she uses drama that to make like a lot of money. Coming back, so... Funny face, good know. morning to you. I, I, I like you so much. Because of that, I didn't want to tell the news. It's Mama Vio. Give me that. Mama Vio, she did that. Why, why did, am I the editor of the... Of, of the me, me, I didn't newspaper. do it to Funny Face, please. <laughs> I'll call you. Uh, let's, talk. Do, I do. let's do the Al Haj newspaper, front page of the Al Haj newspaper. Agenda to remove EC boss. Presidency caught in evil plot to frame up Charlotte or say. Also, Kufuado cancels Exton bauxite lease at Nyanahine. So, check this out. Depending on the newspaper that you're reading, uh, same story, but the headline will be different. Uh, for opening mouth loud, MPP traps Canada Japan's. Uh, Japan set him up for distraction. Uh, also, Canada Japan under siege slums media and police. So, those are the headlines. Uh, quickly on the back page of Al Haj, the Uganda coach is saying that we don't stand a chance. Like, we're nowhere close true, to qualifying. They are leading the group seven uh, points. For, for the World Cup. It which, is true. Yeah, it is true. I think a but lot who, of us. Who Uganda be agree qualifying for World Cup? To Russia 28. <laughs> hey, Africa, pal. This is serious. So that's it for the Al Haj Duba, newspaper. Quickly, Duba, we'll run this through. This is not serious. Roland, we'll run through the Daily Dispatch. All right. So we do the Daily Dispatch newspaper. It has on the front page alleged police rapists still free. Ensure justice. Derry to IGP. We have other stories. First Lady 2017 Flower Show in Stratcom, Africa. Uh, it's on page two of the paper. And then, um, and then we also have on the back page, soldier who killed civilian for denying him his phone remanded. Mobile phone fraud on the rise. Mamavi was uh, defrauded the last time. Oh, it was not you. I was defrauded. Oh, Which was are yesterday. mobile money. Uh. No, I was only saying what people had complained okay. about. Okay, so Mamavi sympathizing with <laughs> Sandra, I see now. Yeah, Sandra. Yeah. I see now, Penu, yeah. And a good friend of mine, too, was that. <laughs> uh, Sandra even put it on the Facebook. Give yeah. screenshots. But people are wicked, though. You know, yeah. when somebody shares something like that, then people, other people would say, eh, but you were not cautious enough. You're not this, you're oh, not no, this, no. you're not it can this. Happen. See, that's what I was trying to it tell you. It happen yesterday. to me, though, but it can happen. Uh, that, Serious. That's what they always say. See, when it's getting close. So they say. <laughs> but you know, when you have, I won't come and tell you because uh, I've already given my side. It can happen to me. 
<laughs> okay, uh, let's check out uh, the Business and Financial Times. That's the last uh, hardcore newspaper we'll do, and then we'll quickly go online. Uh, so Vodafone in constant talks with NCA over pricey 4G licenses. Mm -hmm. uh, that's a revelation uh, from the CEO of Vodafone. Mm -hmm. If they say pricey, it means that it's expensive? Yeah, it is expensive. Oh. So it means that they're trying to get a 4G okay. and you're trying to get, you know. But Vodafone, yeah. uh, MTN has a 4G or? Almost. MTN does. Almost 4G or 4G? It is 4G, 4G. depending on the phone you're using. You use MTN? Yes. Oh, okay. IMF praises Bank of Ghana over UT capital takeover. GCB wins Africa's most compliance bank uh, slash employer. What well, congratulations to GCB. GCB. I yeah. want to work with GCB now. Okay, Most compliance, the, daddy, daddy, compliance bank <laughs> and employer. All right, that's, that will be the front page headlines in the Business and Financial Times. We're going to check out what's making uh, our page, myjoyonline.com. In the meantime, uh, your text messages is very much welcome. Here's one. Nanaba from Kofuridia says, thank you for making my day. Uh, Roland, make me laugh, sir. <laughs> good morning <laughs> to you. Now, good day. Uh, this one says... Why stigmatize your own staff and be advising the public not to? They need to be professional from Jalali and Nasa in Avadapa. That's, uh, that has to do uh, with the blood bank uh, director yeah, issue. Yeah, I mean, yeah. it really, on the surface of it, it doesn't make sense because yeah. they preach to us not to, but they're involved in this. Uh, Joshua in Aflao says, Roland is killing me this morning. You guys are too much. Well, thanks a lot for enjoying the show. Uh, and for Aflau, being there. Uh, A.U. Farouk in Tamale says, the timeline given to candidate for replacement is too short. Ministry of Education must intervene. This NPP free education bohaha is total uh, confusion. We wait to see, uh, to see it in future. I don't know. Why, why do you want to do the wait and see thing? Let's talk about if there's something that's not really working. Mm -hmm. Let's talk about it and get sure. it fixed. Very true. Because it has come. We're Ghanaians. We're all contributing to it. So we have to ensure that it works. Uh, Al Haji Noble, liking my hairstyle. Thank you very much. Uh, more messages. Uh, this one says, okay, you just want us to know that you're enjoying the show, but kindly include your name when you send us and where, uh, and where text you're texting messages from. so and we will know texting. exactly. Uh, this one says, please, road signs on our roads in Kumasi are mostly in a bad state. Some lie in ruins and is bad for road users. Uh, please kindly address this to the ministry. That's from Augustine Kofi Riafi with this text message. More of them. Uh, this one says, kindly educate the public that there's no such thing as conspiracy theory with respect to the recent uh, computerized, no, CSSPS. The placement. Okay. Every prospective student will have a place despite the challenges uh, the system is facing. It's better at the moment. Free SHS has come. Sir Stone in Kumase. Oh, you are sound, you the director of education? You sound like you made the policy. <laughs> are you the <laughs> I, thought, I thought he was the director Roland, for five got, minutes. We've got about five minutes or okay, less. So we have just about My five minutes line. and quickly we'll have mm -hmm. to sift through this. Uh, Mamavi, can you do this quickly for us? Uh, beware of fraudsters mm -hmm. charging money to Never pay, pay money to anybody. in schools. Yep, yep. Uh, uh, this is uh, a caution coming from the GS. But we know some parents, even when they hear us say it like a million times, they still will. Don't so go and pay money. Let those who would hear and abide Wait for, the, wait for the website. But if you go and you're duped, it's your own matter. Uh, also on my John Line Senior High Schools yet to receive funds to start free SHS policy. Hmm. Mm. No comment. Mm -mm. Next one. Urban Roads uh, directors allegedly caught on camera taking bribe. This is interesting. The CID of the Ghana Police Service is investigating two directors of the Department of Urban Roads for allegedly taking bribes. I, I, we thought those, that was only the men in black. I didn't think. All right, uh, GJA shouldn't have members if it can't help them. That's coming from Audrey Gadapo, the Dean of the School of Information and Communication Studies of the University of Ghana says, the Ghana Journalist Association should not hurt its members if it simply cannot help. <laughs> Uh, the new cure for low libido. Hey. If your sex drive has been dipping, where the is this new guy? The guy Italian what? What's his name? study What's his name? suggests there may be 
and is it fixed? Life therapy, they call it. You can check out the details of that story. Somebody claiming he is his friend and best friend. He can't remember his name. All right, also on the page. Keep thinking. Lance Minister has no basis to revoke our mining leases. That's according to Exton Cubic Group. All is set for free SHS takeoff, according to Deputy Minister. He's assuring. Yeah. Yeah, we should follow up with the money. Uh, Kenya Swanya election later. date set for Kenyatta or uh, Odinga re run. Wow. Uh, that's, uh, that's on October 17. <laughs> yeah. The new reality on the African continent. Yeah. Uh -huh. It's the first. Okay. <laughs> uh, gang raped as birthday gift, the sad story of faithful lesbian. Uh, mm -hmm. The shocking story of three lesbians. So, uh, details of all of that on myjoyonline.com. We just fast forward and do the BBC quickly before we go, but we've got videos uh, of things that you've missed here on Joy News that's been uploaded. Roland, the BBC. So, we have the BBC page, and it's all about Kenya, Mama V. Mm -hmm. It's a date set for election we run, and it's October 17. Mm -hmm. we'll October waiting. 17. And then you go up a little up. Um, Bell Potinga, a spell from trade body, and penalty follows a controversial media campaign in South Africa that incited racial hatred. Yeah, uh, the British firm hired by PR Jacob, gone Zou so wrong. Jacob Zuma's government, they just mm. didn't know the dynamics of uh, the demographics, and they should have known better about the history and so should have done better with their campaign. A Burundi accused of crimes against humanity, and their highlights. Rwanda yeah. confirms op opposition leader arrest. Ah, you remember, it. this is the same man <laughs> who, who was trying to run for office against uh, the Rwandan president recently. And oh, she's a woman. Recently. This one, the position leader you're talking about. Is, is this, is this a person woman. is different? Um, I'm not sure it's that same man. This one is Diane, I think yesterday, mm. uh, she was arrested. All right, uh, let's do just a few messages. Uh, Daniel and Nenebi in Aguna Suedro. Thanks for watching the show. We, we're happy that you're enjoying it. Uh, this one also says, 100% good move. So far, so, so good uh, for Nanadu. Keep it up. That's from Majid Tamali in Zungjing. Like, we're, we're, ra we're rating Nanadu this morning. Is that what we're doing? Uh, this one says, when will Wyak release uh, the withheld BC results? Uh, Ruth Ahin is asking... And Akoto Razag in Tamale, good morning to you. Says, uh, if na uh, Nana's gov uh, government free SHS is to begin next week while school has not received funds, will Nana's free SHS be possible? Okay, so we see that there are a lot of questions with regard to free SHS. We're going to spend time on that. In the meantime, Erasto Sasaridonko will be coming to us live from Kumasi. We want to check preparing. it out from Ose Krum and the yeah. surrounding environment. We're preparing for reopening. Some mm -hmm. schools are reopening today, but a lot of the other schools next week. So okay. what are they up to in Ose Krum? We'll see how that goes. No, wait, wait. Ose Krum is not Kumasi. It's Kumasi. Oh, is it? Yes. Okay. So Ose Krum and the surrounding areas. <laughs>